hi guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna do something out of my comfort zone I know I might get a little bit of backlash for doing this but by no means I'm saying that's something that you have to do um, all the stuff that I'm gonna feature in my video today I collect over time so it's not just like I went out and spent all this money so if you want to see you know what video I come up with then keep on watching okay so today I am gonna I don't even know how to say this is I spend eight hundred dollars on makeup so everything I'm using today like eyebrow everything the whole thing well, except like my moisturizer and my brushes so just like the actual products that I'm gonna use today everything total eight hundred dollars eight hundred dollars so I'm like even just saying that makes my head hurt so let's go ahead and get started and we're just gonna chit chat about this while I'm doing my makeup cuz I'm not saying anybody to go spend eight hundred dollars on makeup eight hundred dollars is a lot of money for me and I'm sure it is you know for a lot of you guys I'm not saying to do that I'm just saying that's what this video is about I'm actually gonna do some eyeshadow guard today you sh <sighs> I do it sometimes I don't do it sometimes it just depends but today I feel like doing some guard so actually I'm feeling my brows today man my brows are good I don't know I feel like I'm tired I haven't really been sleeping well lately so I don't know maybe that's why when I'm really tired I just have like all this energy I'm, which is weird right because that's the opposite if you're tired you should be like nope I have all this energy I feel like hyped up but I'm weird like that I'm just putting on some eyeshadow guards from elf I'm using my little handy Amarizi mirror let's go ahead and prime the lid oh let's let's take a guess let's take a while guess what is that I'm gonna use to prime her lids Oh, there's no gas in there. I'm gonna use my pillow with base and I'm gonna use twin zero two. Why am I saying 20? 20. And I'm gonna use my G38 from Morphe. I keep saying, oh my god, I keep saying I'm gonna stop using this brush because they did take a look on Morphe's site and they did discontinue this brush. But again, you don't have to use this brush. I think, do I have it here? No, I don't have it on my desk right here but elf has a concealer brush i think it's like either four or five dollars and it's so good like it's so good so you guys can like use that instead of like this because i don't want you you know looking for it and it's not there i'm not sure why they discontinue it i actually really like that brush and i have a ton of them so i'm using it because i have i bought a ton and i, I bought backup so i'm like because i like it I do that when I find something I like. I always buy a backup just in case. I know they discontinue it. I know I'm stuck with all these brushes and I'm just like, oh, I don't want to stop, like, keep using it on camera. But so, the first product we're gonna use is actually, you know, put my eyeshadow on as, you know, the use. So, I'm gonna use this palette. This is, I think, this is Mothership 2. I'm not sure I put exactly which model ship it is but this a hundred and twenty five dollars um, I've, I've had this you know for a little bit I've used it before these are the shades but in my defense I didn't pay hundred and twenty five dollars for this I like buying my shadows when Sephora has their or buy my expensive stuff when Sephora has their VIB sale or when Pat McGrath has her VIP sales that's when I buy these palettes cuz I know $125 is a lot of money like I won't just spend $125 and I only even buy these palettes because I record and you know I just kind of want to give you guys options but it's no way like I would just like regularly just buy this palette not if I wasn't like you know doing videos so I'm, gonna, I'm putting this actually on a T87 and I'm using the dark blue shade 
which is this shit right here this shit and I'm just packing that in my order V stamping this my only thing with this palette is like most of the shades are like a shimmer so you just kind of like tempt to be like oh if you get one you want to get all the rest but you don't have to buy this palette to create amazing looks but they help I'm testing out some new lighting and some new setup let me know what you guys think I know like you know trying to get the lighting and my audio done I know it's a process but I'm working on it I was actually recording in my bedroom and then recently I have, I'm actually recording in an actual recording room so I have a room you know just kind of set up for just that so I'm hoping that will make my videos better better quality I also order like I have two soft boxes I have a glam call light right here and I have my mirror right here that also has a lights um you know your girl trying she's trying to bring the to bring the lighting up or the quality i'm using my little napkins to like clean up my brush a little bit the only thing is like most of my makeup is still kind of downstairs in my bedroom and then I'm bringing up it up like little bit by little bit I'm just like but we're gonna get it all set up <clears throat> so I'm gonna move to this shade right here which is this it's just another blue shade but it's lighter than this shade so this is like a navy blue and then this is like maybe a teal a little bit now I think it's lighter than a teal and i'm just gonna like stamp this kind of like right here just a little bit like i'm gonna go all the way in my inner corner but i'm just bringing it but i'm gonna see just kind of like halfway and her shimmer is so good and there's literally no reason to like wet it because you're gonna get everything you want just by you know just put it the brush in there and go <clears throat> her shadows do that and then JD she I think she's from like Louisiana and she do, does glitters as well or shimmers oh, they're so good I think she has some like mattes but I've never tried those so I can't speak to those but I know her shimmers are amazing so I'm gonna go I don't know every time I'm recording like my throat gets real dry I'm not sure why I'm gonna go to a T4 from Makeup Shack and I'm just gonna use that to just buff my edges. I'm not putting any more oh, product. Product. This is a clean brush. I might put something else here, but let me see how this blends. And I'm gonna go back to this brush and I'm gonna go back to the the navy blue and just kind of darken this a little bit oh wow I just dipped this in the wrong shadow what are you doing this what are you doing but I can fix this so quickly just get my navy blue which is what I wanted right here and just anti pack me coming through these shadows this is so good okay no i'm gonna go to uh t49 for makeup track it's just gonna brush that kind of looks like so it's like a shader brush but it's longer and i'm gonna go in with this shade right here it's like a silver i actually never used this shade the gold is so pretty in here i've just used the gold i've never used this silver but today so it is our silver earrings our silver necklace so we're just gonna go with silver and i'm just using that same brush to just kind of buff everything make sure there's no sharp edges and that's it see how quick this look was like it's so fast Let's go ahead and take this off. No, I'm gonna need a wipe to just clean this up. And I use these. I actually get this from TJ Maxx. They're just like collagen wipes from Absolute New York. 
and they were like three dollars and ninety nine cents. So. And I've been testing like all this new like face products. My face is like, girl, when are you gonna stop with this nonsense? I mean, I break out and I get like, but now I'm like, see, I have these right here, and I have. Well, I don't have these. This was like, you know, eyeshadow, but I have like these right here. But I don't know what it's trying to do. Just trying to embarrass me. But you know. We're gonna move on. So I'm gonna move on to my primer. And today for that, I'm gonna use my Tatcha primer. Um, this is the liquid one. So there's the cream one or kind of pasty one. And then this one is the liquid. This is $52. I don't know. I mean, even with VIB sale, I still feel like it's expensive, bro. That is the only time I will like ever, ever buy these. And then, but this is so good. Like it's so good. The foundation I'm gonna use today is this foundation from Pat McGrath. I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but please, please don't go buy these things because you know I'm using them. Please don't do that. Buy it only if you can afford it. Cause I know, I know, I know, I know these are expensive. This is sixty eight dollars 68 dollars but i like it like i love this foundation i don't use it every day though because i know it's 68 dollars so i'm trying to you know buy that all the time but to apply my foundation i'm gonna go ahead and use my i love this to apply my foundation um this is just the mia smart i actually have the other one but i use that one to wash my face but i use this for my foundation See, this feel like it's already almost done and I need to buy another one. Oh god, this is not good. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and just actually you know what's sad talking about this? So I just found out I'm actually gonna move to a brush because this is using way too much product and I feel like I'm almost done with this. Oh, is it? I don't know but i just found out which is actually very very sad um clarisonic is going out of business like they and that's like really sad because i actually really really like their brushes so i'm just like um, i actually switched to a morphe 439 so i, I don't really like this brush because the hairs are coming out I only there's only like a few brushes from Morphe that I actually like to be honest with you. I like the M609. Like the shadow brushes, I feel like they're good. But the face brushes, I don't think they're good. And that's just my opinion. If you use their face brushes and they don't shed on you, that's great. But mine do. See like there's more here. So uh, The only thing with this foundation, um, if you have any, or if you have a lot of like problem areas, I don't, this foundation is most likely not gonna work for you because the coverage is very like it's it's a light. I'm not sure what medium, what coverage they see, but I feel like this is like a light coverage, and then if you build it up, it can be built up because it's very light. But I feel like you're just gonna get like a medium coverage on there it's not a full coverage foundation and so normally with the way my skin is I will not be using this foundation because I need more of a full coverage foundation than this you know a foundation I never tried is the one from Kat Von D the locket I actually tried it way back in the day but it was so thick I returned it and now I think I've heard and I could be wrong but I think I've heard since it's now like KVD like it was reformulated and it's not as like it's still full coverage but it's not as like thick so I would like to try it again to see to see if I like it again or if I you know since the formula is different because that young girl loves some full coverage foundation today i'm actually gonna use this this is the power fabric concealer from armani and 
I'm kind of like cheating. I just have like all my prices written here, so I, I kind of have an idea. You know what the prices are? The concealer is thirty-four dollars. But this is my favorite concealer, like favorite. I know it looks light, but it actually is not. Oh, you know, you guys are like, maybe you should use like a darker concealer. I promise you, this concealer is not light. It may pull light on camera, but it actually is not. And then I'm gonna actually put my these to dry. My lashes from my lashes, I'm gonna use. Mykonos or Mykonos Mykonos. I think it's Mykonos lashes. These are foaming lashes from Lily Lashes and Yeah, these are thirty dollars So the last Lily Lashes that I open I pull it so hard it's Like the little unicorn because it looks like so Yeah, I pull it so hard off of this the whole lash came like just half of it came and the half of it stayed. I was like, oh no. So let's not do that. Same thing, like Lady Lashes, their lashes are expensive. I mean, they, have, they have cheaper ones, like oh, these are like the four main ones. They have less expensive ones. However, those, um, I don't really like them. Let me see how much cording I need to do. Oh, just a little bit. And for that, I'm gonna use my little below lashes scissors and I'm gonna use my kiss lash glue in clear and I'm gonna put this on the line I actually on the band I actually ordered the I think it's from below lashes they have like a, a glue that you actually put on your like line itself and then you put it on so I'm like I'm kind of excited to try that I don't know if it's gonna work who knows yeah the brush I'm using just because I think my camera stopped recording so I'm using a number six brush from BH cosmetics and this is from like their their studio pro line I'll, I'm giving the look because I don't see the difference between that and the other brushes so that's why I'm like studio pro and nothing studio pro about this In nothing studio and to set my eye I'm gonna go ahead and use this is a sublime perfection setting powder from Pat McGrath and this also is $30 but this this is like so good and I'm using this brush actually it's just a mini brush from Sephora I think it's like a powder brush but I got it like it's like old oh, since 2018 in my VIB bag so don't go look for this I'm just, I'm just joking I mean I'm sure they have something like that looks in their like actual brush line they might this is like so smooth like it's like butter I love this like it's just it just slides and to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Charlotte Tilbury powder in medium, and this is thirty, no, forty-five dollars. And to apply that, I'm gonna use my powder brush from Loxy, and it's the seven thirty-four. And for my mask. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Pat McGrath. I know like a lot of the stuff I'm using is from Pat McGrath or Charlotte Tilbury but they are the like big boys or some of the big boys when it comes to the uh, big girls when it comes to the makeup game and prices I haven't really bought anything from Charlotte Tilbury like her shadows my lips is dry because I just feel like her shadows are boring I mean it is what it is like if you love it that's fine for me no you know you remember like um this guy Randy that used to be on American Idol when you know the singles were not great he'd be like that's a no for me dog yo dog I gotta tell you for me man that was not even half good dude you can't sing what are you doing Stewie <laughs> I don't know like, I'm the one this came to my mind but that's 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 why I'm with this that's gonna be a no 
let's go to this lashes let's see what's going on here and i'm using my velour lashes applicator to apply this these are massive but moving along i don't know i feel like this lash is like lifted i knew it was gonna do this though because the glue was kind of dry so let's put some more glue on here yeah this one is the same thing oh i hate when that happens and i forget it but you know what everything happens for a reason because now i'm just like i forgot to put eyeliner on so it's a good thing that you know we're here it's a good thing we are here we are here today i'm gonna go ahead and use my roller liner from benefit and this is 25 dollars i love this the thing is so soft and it just like there's no way like that i think i have a little bit but let's move on i always like to go with like a different color actually let's use i don't know i'm trying to see i'm trying to see i'm trying to see i'm trying to see. all this will be cut off from the video so you won't you will just sit here with me trying to figure this out. I'm actually going to use LSD from Urban Decay and these are $22. And I'm going to put this in my waterline. Let's see. Let's see here. Actually, let me take a look at my lashes. Let's see where they are. Maybe I'm just going to put them on and let them dry on here. So they don't get too dry. Oh, this was like perfect timing i feel like if i left it for a little bit longer it would it have been too dry so I clean up my pinchy thingy this is not called a pinchy thingy it's called an eyelash applicator i always have some crazy names for stuff i'm so thirsty i love this my favorite flavor is green apple That is my favorite, favorite flavor. I look like so pale, you know, but it's okay. We'll fix it. We will fix it. Um, I'm actually, for my lower lash line, I'm actually just gonna use this shade right here. Just this. And I'm looking for, actually, I think I have like a packer brush somewhere here. Yep, this, I'm gonna use an M508 from Morphe. I think I'm gonna like wet this just a little bit just to avoid like a ton of fault because I'm ain't nobody trying to like clean that up ah, I'm so excited guys like I'm so happy that you guys are subscribing to my channel please continue to subscribe I don't like this is like so random but we're almost there we're almost there and I'm just gonna tap this down here But let's move on to the bronzer. I'm gonna go ahead and use this bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury, and this is in shade number three, and this is fifty-five dollars. This is, I think, it's such a good buy. I mean, yeah, I know it's fifty-five dollars. However, like, look at this. I have big hands, and this is like the size of my hand. So you, you have this forever. So with that, I'm like, mm. and to apply this, I'm gonna use an F. 30 brush from Sigma and I bring that really close to my hairline or in my hairline and for blush where is my blush brush where is my blush say this fast blush brush blush, blush. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying this and I'm gonna go ahead and use burnt pepper from Mac. This is twenty-five dollars, and I'm using uh, just a stippling brush. This one is from Laura Geller, but you can use any stippling brush. If I like to apply my blush with a stippling brush, and usually the brushes that's like specifically 
for blush I like to use it for bronzer and I like to bring my blush like kind of like so to my bronzer I like that look and for highlighter let's go ahead and use Rodeo Drive from Ofra Cosmetics let's see actually let me go ahead and use this this is an M501 from Morphe this is not my favorite but Ooh, look at this oh god so let's let's fix it I think that's why I don't like this brush because it just like piles it up and maybe I go a little bit heavy-handed but that's normal because I have heavy hands <laughs> but let's fix this because I feel like this just is like a whole patch now this one kind of wants to look like it's too much but we're done because I'm over here going crazy with this and that's not what you know we came here for we came here to do a nice little look you know something not crazy and I'm gonna take actually a T51 and let's go ahead and put a little bit on my brow bow and I'm gonna use my Blentiful sponge from Tati I love this sponge. Need to wash it, but like if you see guys see this mess. Oh, I found my brush right here. This is Loxy and JD Wady collab. And I'm just gonna go in and take a little bit of my bronzer and then put it on the larger part. And I tap it because I don't want like too much. She be blocking my face and you guys can't even see what I'm doing. And I bring it down. And the same thing, I go all the way here. Just making sure there's no sharp lines. <clears throat> and to line my lip, I'm gonna go ahead and use this lip pencil. And then this is from. YSL and this is $31 and to top this lip off I'm gonna go ahead and use my Tom Ford lipstick I know this is in shade Velvet Cherry 08 and this is $50 50 so for my lip and my just my lip, $80 right there. And I know I have like a super bold eye and I'm doing like a super bold lip, but I don't care. I don't care. I put whatever I want. You know, it's just, it's makeup. I could have just put on a purple lip. <laughs> but no, that's, that's a bit much. And let's go back. I need a really small brush that I know I have somewhere here I just need to find it oh right here perfect this is a t65 and this is for makeup shark I know all my brushes are pretty much for makeup shark. and we're gonna go back to you know miss Pat here and I'm gonna go back to that silvery shade that I have kind of like in my inner corner I'm just gonna bring it down that's that did I say I was gonna pinch my lashes? And let's go ahead and dust up this powder. Oh, I feel good, man. This looks like good. I feel good. This look is like, whew, this looks good. Now, to set everything in place, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray, and this is $35. Actually, before I do this, there's one thing I need to do. You know, you know, you know what brush I haven't used in this video? An M506. An M506. Which I'm gonna have to use, unfortunately. <laughs> ah, I'm obsessed with this brush, but I feel like I need to just buff my lower lash line just a little bit. I know you guys thought like, oh my gosh, she was not going to use an M506. Uh-uh. 
not too fast honey and let's set this and this is the final look guys Let's let, let, let's fix the top. Let, let's let's look all you know cute and and, and sexy and cute. This is actually supposed to be like kind of off the shoulder. I don't know. I've never used it off the shoulder. So let's 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 bring it off the shoulder. You know, while I give like just you know a final little tidbit on this video. Um, again, again, by no means am I saying go spend all your coin on makeup. You can get this blue look you can get this lipstick you can get like all these shades or products or the formula might not be the same but you can get all these products at like your drugstore i did a drugstore slash affordable makeup recently and i'll go ahead you know and tag it or pin it up here somewhere up here you know so then you can take a look at that if that's you know kind of more your thing um I have all these products I want to just go ahead and, you know, and do a video using like high-end products and just to give like a another option you know there are people out there that spends you know that much money on makeup and then there's some of us that don't I only do it because I you know I have to get all type of makeups and you know for my videos that's the only reason why I you know spend all this money on makeup anyways and even then i make sure i buy it when they're on sale so enough of this rambling and if you like what you see if you love my videos don't forget to subscribe you know turn on that notification bell so you get notified every time i upload a new video i upload twice a week mondays and fridays 10 a.m central time oh that was a mouthful and that's it for now guys and i will see you in my next video bye guys Mwah.